Uh, thank you for joining me this afternoon. I'm going to read uh, from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, some verses to encourage you, to comfort you, to edify you. And I want to start reading at verse um, 11 of chapter 19. And I saw heaven open, and a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were, at, were, a, were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was dipped, excuse me, he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of Yahuwah. <laughs> and the armies <coughs> which, followed, which, were, which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And by the way, this is talking about you and I as believers, because if you read the verses up, uh, uh, before this, it talks about that the fine linen represents the righteousness of the saints. And it says that we will be riding with him. Now this is making reference to his second coming. So we have to already be there in order for, for us to come back to the earth. <laughs> another, another proof that the rapture of believers has to take place first and we have to be in heaven to come back with him. And the armies which followed him in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he should rule them with the rod of iron. And he treadeth upon the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty Yahuwah. And, on his vest, on, and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun and cried with a loud voice, saying to the fowls of the air that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together to the supper of the great Yahuwah. What a great time to be alive if you truly know Yahuwah as your Savior. And so may these words comfort you and edify you today. Shalom.